We next set our sights on Hopkinsville, seat of Christian County. It's a pretty town with southern manners and right on the trail of history. One of the most tragic chapters in our past was the forced removal of native peoples from their homeland. Known as the Trail of Tears, the Removal Act of 1830 allowed the government to march the tribes, sometimes in shackles, west. Many died of disease and maltreatment. Here in western Kentucky, the event is remembered by descendants of the original Americans. Uh, today we're here at the Trail of Tears Commemorative Park, the Powwow Grounds. It's located in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And it is part of our, we're celebrating part of our annual Trail of Tears Indian powwow. We have this event each year and it serves two purposes. Number one, as a fundraiser for the Trail of Tears Commemorative Park. And the other is to pay homage and to bring educational materials to the people concerning the unjust, very unjust, removal of the Cherokee Indians in 1838-39. Now this park is located on part of the grounds that the Cherokees used on that removal. Uh, Hopkinsville served as one of the major campgrounds in Kentucky. And we were fortunate enough to acquire you know, the property that where they actually camped. When this idea first came to me about this park, I had read an article that they were considering a National Historic Trail of Tears. And I thought that, well, you know, this is part of Hopkinsville's history. So many local people knew nothing about it. And, you know, why shouldn't we pursue it and try to get this bill, you know, introduced in Congress? And it was through our efforts that Senator Wendell Ford, who's retiring from the Senate, agreed to sponsor the National Historic Trail of Tears bill. And it's interesting because we are not what they call Indian country. You know, but he introduced the bill and it was passed and then signed by uh, President Reagan and put into law. We have this as an intertribal powwow, and then it brings in all these different cultures, all these different tribes that are represented here today, and then that way they help to educate the people on their particular uh, uh, historical backgrounds, you know, and the fact that there are an awful lot of Native Americans in this country today. When a powwow begins, it starts with the grand entry. And in the grand entry, the Native Americans come in by category for their particular type of dance. The grand entry is always led by the American flag. And of course, then we like to add the Cherokee flag when it's possible and the Kentucky flag, but always the American flag, always carried by a Native American Indian veteran. And so then they come in by category, by the categories in which they, they will dance. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Polston, your host for Kentucky Life. Now, if you liked that story and you'd like to learn more about Kentucky, click on that subscribe button for more great content.